Records. The new iPod Air 5th generation. This is, I think, the second device in the portable system section, in the tablet section, after the last iPad Pro, which guarantees you a smooth functionality while working with multiple audio input devices. These devices can be used for music production, either with GarageBand, which comes preloaded with iOS, or other apps like Cubasis and Koala Sampler. Now, this device, it has an astonishing size to power ratio as it comes with Apple's M1 chip. And to top it off, this comes with a Type-C charging port, the Type-C charging port allows you to interface different types of input and output devices, which can be achieved using a Type-C USB hub like this one. This will allow you to connect your audio interface, your MIDI keyboards, your MIDI controllers, a USB microphone, and if you're looking for some extra storage, you can connect an SSD or a flash drive as well. Along with these devices, you might as well consider getting one of these small USB adapters that comes with a 3.5mm mic input and a headphone jack. The headphone jack itself is quite useful as the iPad doesn't have a headphone jack. It can be used for monitoring output from GarageBand or any other music creation tool using a wired earphone or wired headphone. This is quite useful when you're using GarageBand without any input or output devices, but you're only using the on-screen keyboard synthesizers and drum machines. The Bluetooth headsets are not recommended for this as they can cause latency. Even if you try to connect AirPods while using GarageBand, you'll get a latency warning on the screen. Now the 3.5mm mic input on the USB adapter can be used to connect a lapel mic or it can also be used to connect a guitar with an aux cable and an aux to line adapter. But it is going to record a weak signal. If you are using an audio interface with multiple inputs like Focusrite 2i2 and you are trying to route your guitar input to the guitar amplifier channel on GarageBand and your mic input to the vocals channel then this can be done by clicking on the gear icon on the top right corner and then enabling multi-track recording. An option to select inputs is now available on the top right corner of the guitar amp window on the left bottom corner of the mic window of GarageBand.